Hey guys, I'm Abe from Dusk Productions, and this episode I wanted to take a look at special effects I uploaded last year and talk you through how I pulled it off. Okay, so here's the clip. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm gonna look scared. Why? Alright, so I created this in Adobe After Effects CS6, so let's head to the computer. Okay, I just want to talk about filming your scene, and it's incredibly important to keep your camera stabilised. I use a tripod, but you could use anything like a bookshelf, whatever you've got handy, just to keep that camera still. Then you're going to need to get an image of your set without the actors, and we'll call this a background image. Then finally, after that, you call in your actors and you film the scene. Remember, lighting is very important when filming. You want your background image without the actors to match the clip with the actors so that the audience believe that it's one image. For example, if your scene with the actors is brightly lit and the background image is dark, your audience are going to notice and the, the illusion will be ruined. Okay, so first you want to import your clip. My background image was recorded at the same time to try and match the light in best I could. And then this way there's no accidental knocks or nudges to the camera. Then you want to make a new composition by dragging your clip down here. Find your background image and split the layer if it's in the same clip as your actor's scene. You can go up top to edit, then split layer, or press Ctrl Shift D as a shortcut on a Windows computer. I like to save the frame as a Photoshop layer by going up to Composition, Save Frame As, and then click on Photoshop Layer. Move the layers so they overlap on the timeline with a clip of your actors on top. I like to keep my projects neat so I usually trim down the workspace. Alright, go up to the pen tool or G as a shortcut and as accurately as you can mask around your actor you want to make him visible. Usually I like to find a point in the clip where there's a lot of the thing or person you want to mask out which is either in the middle or at the end then work your way from there. Don't forget to have the right layer selected when masking. Go down to the mask and change where it says add to subtract. And make sure you click on the mask path stopwatch before going to the next frame. Frame by frame slowly move the points with your actor. The easy way to go frame by frame is control and the left or right arrow. You may need to use the feather tool to get rid of some sharp edges from the main clip and the background clip. Finally, to export, go to Composition at the top and click Add to Render Queue or Control M. Go to Output Module and select the format you'd like to use. I usually prefer QuickTime, but choose your preference. Click on the Audio Output box if your clip has sound and click OK. Then head over to Output 2, choose a save location and then click the Render button. And there you have it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this has helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. I'm gonna look scared. <laughs>